For week 16, we are drawing a letter P with some slight width variation and some fun curved slab serifs. So I am gonna make sure I am on a blank layer. I've got my monoline brush and I am going to draw a straight line down about five blocks just as with uh, most of the past weeks. And then I'll draw the other side of my P here and now we're just gonna kind of freehand some details. So I'm gonna start at the top here and kind of curve around all the way through. Now I am going to curve that to my line there. Maybe I want it to be a bit thicker, like that. And for this, I am going to come around. You know what? I think I've got my P going way too far over. So let me do that again. I wanna stop about here. So about one and a half lines over. So I'm a little too thick, I think. All right, let's try that. And then I'm actually just going to draw the same line all the way through. All right, and so I want my width in this area and this area to be a little thinner than here and here. And we can kind of eyeball that and then touch it up. We'll use this first sketch as our template layer and then we'll kind of redraw it after we get a better idea of how it looks. So for this serif, I am just going to start at the end and kind of connect it over and then draw a line to cap it off. And then down here, I'm gonna do the same thing. You can see it got a little long maybe. Um, so I will cap it off and erase a little out. So you know, in some weeks we add that little spur. This is kind of the same thing that we're doing with this letter P, just a different shape. And then for my bottom serif, I will draw an arced line like that. And I'm just gonna draw two little lines out. They're not perfectly straight up and down. They angle out just a little bit. And then I'm going to curve them to my letter P. Um, I think I broke all kinds of rules with this letter, but I wanted to do an extra playful one that just showed you, you can have some fun with it and really, um, you know, kind of make it a little more creative and add some unexpected element. So I'm just gonna color this in and that'll give me a better idea of where I need to clean some things up. It's not too bad, maybe needs a little cleaning here. And we're not gonna be too precise with cleaning because we'll use this, like I said, as our template and then kind of redraw it one more time. I want this to kind of match this here. So I'll smooth that out through there maybe thicken this just a wee bit as well. If you wanted that to flare out a little bit, you can. If you want that to flare out a little bit, you can. I flared that a little more than my original, but I kind of like that since the other ones have some flare there. Smooth that out. And then once you get to a place where you're kind of happy with your sketch, then you can just tap the end, reduce the opacity of that letter layer and add a new layer and we'll redraw it. So I usually like to start with my straight lines and then go from there. So I can just kind of have some elements in place that are consistent and then play with things from there. So I'll just kind of pull those around do it as many times as you need to to get to a place where you're happy with it. And all my angles are kind of all over the place here. They're going all different ways and that's what gives it the playful element. So don't feel like they all need to go the same way with this one. Since my bottom serif is curved, it makes sense that my others would be. And you can see like this side of my serif is longer than this side, but in this instance, that that's something that I'm going for. It doesn't bother me. Um, it might just depend on what you're using the letter for. 
And then I'll delete out my bottom layer. And again, I can clean up anything that I feel like is a little too inconsistent or too wonky. Maybe I want this to be um, shorter up top here and not quite as prominent. And you can see that I need to do some cleaning to kind of make my line widths a little more consistent. Even though it's wonky, we still wanna kind of keep it balanced. And one um, easy way to check that, add a new layer and grab a brighter color. I'm just gonna grab a bright pink and I'm make sure I'm on that new layer. And then I'll draw a circle. I'm gonna use my finger to make it a perfect circle and make it the same width as my stem. And so you can see that this is really close, but maybe needs just a little, and it doesn't have to be mathematically perfect. We're trying to go with what looks best optically, but that is a good way to gauge how far off you are from being the same thickness. So I might put that down there and then go back to my other layer um, with my blue color and just make a little dot. I know you can't see it because there. So if I reduce the opacity, you can see I made a little dot so that it's more the same width. And then I'll grab my dot again and go to what's supposed to be my thinner areas. And you can see that one is about that width and that one is way thicker. So I can then use that as my guideline to know how much to erase out. So if I just make this a little smaller, do that. That is way closer in size. And then I'm done with my dot and I can maybe increase. Even if the whole arc of my P isn't as thick, if one part of it is, sometimes that is what helps balance it out visually so that it's matching our stem just a little better and then smoothing some things out again. Ooh. All right, and I can see I missed erasing a little bit right there. And that could still use some smoothing and cleaning. So I'll do a little bit of that, but I'll go ahead and do that off camera. Um, so that is our fun little letter P for this week. And we can now copy it and come and paste it into our template. And we've completed a whole nother row. I'm gonna angle that one a wee bit. And one thing you wanna to do too is make sure it still looks like a letter P. So if you get it next to other letters or in a phrase and you feel like you need to, you know, maybe shorten that angled off spur that we drew, you can do that. We will be moving on to one of my favorite letters to draw, which is letter Q in next week's video lesson.